So before we start actually coding the uh, action script on the circle, I want to show a new st a, something new to you called the trace statement. Whenever we create action script, we want to have some sort of notification about how things are working and be able to have some way of seeing what's, what's actually happening behind the scenes. The trace statement, which is going to be the first action script we're going to create, is going to give us that capability, and we'll be using it through the entire series. So what we first need to do when we create scripts in Flash is we're going to create a new layer in our timeline. So I'm going to click the New Layer button here in my timeline. I'm going to call my top layer Scripts. My bottom layer I'm, going to, I'm just going to call Circle, since that's what's on that particular layer. Now I'm going to select the empty keyframe that's on the Scripts layer. And if you notice, the Actions panel that I already have here on the left-hand side now allows me to start typing in code. Everything that we're going to be doing um, is going to be in the Actions panel, or when we get into object-based programming, it's going to be actually in the full, uh, the full code editor here in Flash Professional. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a very simple trace statement to show you how this works. Something that you have to do in every single training course is use what's known as the Hello World example. So we're going to use that one here. So I'm going to use a trace statement, which I just use the word trace. And then everything with the trace statement, I have to put within parentheses. So I'm going to create an open parentheses. And then I'm going to type in, within quotation marks, hello world. When you put text onto the trace statement, or when you're using any type of text, you want to always encapsulate it within quotation marks. This is called a string. A string is just a sequence of letters that means it's a, it's, it's a string of characters or text. I'm going to close this then with the closing parentheses and then put a semicolon at the end. You can think of a semicolon as the period when you're, talking, when you're actually writing a sentence in English. What happens is when I actually put the semicolon, it's telling Flash, OK, this line of code is done. So now I can save this. And if I actually run this, and I'll at the bottom see that the output panel is opened up. And I see the world, hello world, has been output to the output panel. Everything that is used in the trace statement is sent to the output panel. Something that's really nice about the trace statement is that when I publish this to the internet, or as an Air application, or as, a, or as any other type of website, all the things that are sent to the output console aren't actually brought up into the browser or to the desktop. It's just when I'm actually testing things in Flash. So now that I've been able to use the trace statement and output this, now we can start using ActionScript to start manipulating the properties that I have of the circle that I've created an instance of.